Good morning, everybody, and this is your Dow Jones Day Trade Setup today. So, um, if you thought yesterday was uh, pretty much uh, aimless and uh, drifting sideways, uh, today is going to be even worse. So, today is uh, Wednesday, and Wednesday is when the Feds finish their meeting, so the FOMC meeting comes to an end, and later today, uh, pretty much it's around 8 o'clock my time, which is, uh, that's uh, GMT minus uh, or GMT plus two is where my time zone is so uh, work it out for yourself wherever you are but that's pretty much when the this holding pattern should break one way or another should get a bit violent down up all over the place until everybody figures out what the feds are saying and uh, then pick a direction uh, my guess is that direction is going to be up so that's just the way it is and very typical for the feds uh, on this market Whenever the feds have a meeting or where the minutes are coming out, that's pretty much what happens. We get a consolidation triangle. The oscillators tend to drift into the middle of the range, and that's where everything stays until we get the data out. It doesn't matter which time frame I look at, uh, the picture is going to be the same. So trend is still up. Consolidation triangle at the moment uh, could also pretty much end up being a range like that. That's the upper and lower end of the, the current range. So whatever break of this triangle, I suspect you'll get buyers at the bottom and you'll get sellers at the top. So if anything happens today, that's pretty much what's going to happen. Um, what I do want to do, I haven't actually done it yet, is just have a look at what the earnings were like yesterday. And just give me a sec while we pull up the earnings calendar. Okay, so Microsoft smashed the results, Google smashed their results, earnings per share really up, Visa smashed their results, uh, Texas Instruments smashed their results, um, those are the notable ones, there's nothing else here, and then obviously Tesla from the day before was also a positive. So if I run down, the very few companies actually missed uh, the results, and uh, Interesting, interesting scenario. I think you can actually do your own research on it. But um, the average increase in uh, in earnings per shares per company at the moment is around 34% uh, from the companies that have actually uh, released their results. Uh, the forecast was for like 16%. So we've basically doubled that. So the one question you need to ask yourself is: Is that priced into the market? And uh, my opinion, it probably is. And you're going to find people actually trying to dissect the results to see what the next quarter is going to be looking like. Markets are forward looking, so that's kind of what I think is going to happen. Um, anyway, I'm rambling at the moment because there's absolutely no trade on the DAX. I'm really not interested in this at the moment. I am still in, the, in a trade on, uh, on the S&P 500 to give that to you on the Telegram channel. If you haven't uh, subscribed to that, just uh, click the link below. And... Yeah, that's pretty much the only US index that I'm looking at at the moment. This is way too sideways for me. Uh, looking for a break above here, 34,176 before starting to look at this market again. If we do break below 33,742, then uh, you know, there's, there's quite a bit of support below. That would be the first area at 33,600. But I think for now, um, 33, oh, sorry, 3,400, as I said yesterday, is the key. There it is there. It's around just above there, somewhere around there, I think. 33,982, uh, 3,400, there it is there. Right at the apex of the triangle. What are the odds of that? Pretty much, uh, it's pretty much a guarantee, to be honest, um, because that's... What is going on below that level, above that level, below that level, above that level, below that level, above that level. And then you, the selling and buying just gets closer and closer and closer to the level until we should peter out here somewhere later this afternoon, um, just before the meeting minutes, go, well, before the meeting uh, results come out. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. Uh, nothing really to trade at the moment, so have a watch out for... The, this evening, I think, uh, for me, for those in Europe, uh, this is, that's when this market's going to be tradable. And uh, as a result, I don't think the DAX will be tradable any, either because this is going to happen. But we'll have a look at the DAX next. 
Anyway, I hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you later. Cheers for now.